I'm Mark Kelly and Mr. Saltwater Tank coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. One big reason to automate your tank is to help make your tank parameters more stable and to give you more time to do other things with your tank. And doing water changes is one of the biggest time draws for saltwater tank hobbyists. So it makes sense that you would want to automate it. But is it safe and what's been my experience with doing automatic water changes on my systems? All that and more is coming right up. Why automate your water changes? Well, one reason is the tank stability reason. Doing a little bit of a water change throughout the day is easier on your tank than doing one big water change once a week, once every other week, or even once a month. Think of it this way. Drip, drip, drip of an automatic water change or dumping in gallons of water into your tank at a time. Which do you think is easier on your system? Automatic water change also takes less time as you just need to mix up salt water to the right salinity, then turn on your automatic water change system. Also, if your tank salinity is too low or too high, you can mix up the water in your saltwater mixing vat accordingly. Then the automatic water change will slowly increase or decrease your displaced tank salinity as the lower or higher salinity saltwater is pumped into your tank. Besides the tank parameter stability factor and the saving me time factor, I like to do automatic water changes as it gives me more control. With automatic water changes, I can easily change the amount of water change that's being done and I can make a water change happen when I want. For example, a client of mine decided to knock out some cyano in her tank with some ChemiClean. And part of the ChemiClean treatment is doing a large water change once the treatment is done. Now, she neglected to do that part and she left town. I asked her about how the ChemiClean treatment went and then she remembered she had to do that water change. I said, not a problem, I'll turn on your water changes and we'll do a large water change all with a few clicks. All this was done from thousands of miles away. Neither of us were anywhere close to the tank. There are several different ways to do automatic water changes, and here's my take on them. Pumps with an old school timer. One pump goes in your sump, and one goes in your saltwater mixing tank. Then offset the timer such that water from your sump gets pumped out, and then water from your saltwater mixing vat gets turned on. Personally, I'd never do this, as these pumps and light timers are so imprecise, you could easily take out too much water or put in too much water. Not worth the risk. Standalone dosers. One head pumps water out, another pumps water in. These are a step up from light timers as the timing and amount of water moved is more precise. Note that these systems can't sense water levels, so all they know how to do is move water. If your sump is too high or too low, the standalone doser is still going to run. Yes, you could add level sensors to shut the dosing pump on or off if the water level is too high or low in your sump, and if you're going to do that, you might as well go with a dedicated automatic water change system like the Auto Aqua Smart Auto Water Changer. It has built-in level sensors to make the water change more precise. It also includes everything you need, including level sensors, tubing pumps, and a controller. If you go this route, I'd still add a high water sensor to power off the controller in case it overfills your sump. This is a basic auto water change system that is better than pumps on timers and standalone dosers. What this system gives up is very important to me when I'm setting up automatic water changes. Remote access and control. I want to be able to see if the water change is happening and be able to control it wherever I am in the world. See, I travel a lot. That means I'm not here to turn systems on and off and to make sure they're functioning properly. By having remote access and control, I can be wherever in the world and I can look into my tank to see how things are going. No one ever complains when they have too much control. They only complain when they don't have enough. For auto water changes on my 448 gallon reef, I use a Neptune Systems dose connected to my Neptune Systems Apex. This way I have the most access and control of automatic water changes. The dose is also accurate as part of the setup of the dose is to calibrate it so the Apex knows exactly how much water the dose head moves. One head of the dose pumps water out from my skimmer box section and the other head pumps fresh salt water into the return box section of my tank. Waste salt water is pumped into a drain so I never have to worry about emptying a waste container. I do a 7,500 milliliter or 1.98 gallon water change a day. This works out to about 5% a week of my total system volume, which is how I used to do my manual water changes. On my Apex Fusion dashboard, one head is labeled salt out, and that's the waste salt water. The other head is labeled salt in, and that's the fresh salt water coming into my system. I set the time interval on both outlets to 24 hours a day, as there's no need to restrict timing on the water change. Note that I don't have to worry about salinity changes due to the auto water change system. 
That's because Apex takes down the same amount of water that it puts in, and those two things happen at the same time. Therefore, water level in my sump doesn't change, and the ATO system doesn't kick on. Now, if you're using the Neptune Systems Apex, I strongly recommend you use a dose for your automatic water changes. It's the most precise, and it gives you the most control and visibility. If you don't have an Apex, I would go with the Auto Aqua Smart Water Change System, and I would couple a level sensor with it to add extra redundancy. I'm Mark Kelly and Mr. Saltwater Tank coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. I'll catch you in the next episode.